Hello everyone and welcome to Metal Gear Monday, where I'll be playing Metal Gear Portable Ops in just a few minutes. All right, I'll be starting in about one more minute. Thank you for the heart pepper. All right. One moment. My PSP capture is um, tuned to a specific whatever specific game I'm playing at the time. I forgot about that. 
portable ops. And hey, not a card game. Although it still has that circle for yes and X for no. Slots. Yes. How O T S. Yes. S. L. O. T. S. Yes. Circle X. Do not remove the memory card. Save successful. Mm -hmm. A single A file will be used to continue in this game. Removing the memory stick during gameplay or deleting the save file will, may prevent further advancement in the game. Okay. Trust your dreams were pleasant, big boss. What are you talking about? Oh, please drop the act. I know all about you, boss. Or would you prefer I called you Naked Snake? Hmm. Sounds like a copyright guy. Who are you? My name is Lieutenant Cunningham. Until four weeks ago, I was with the CIA. Cunningham? Boxing and interrogation specialist? Ah, so you had heard of me. I'm honored, Snake. And those guys who attacked me, they were Fox too? Yeah, although we'll leave it at that for now. What do you want from me? I'm retired from Fox. I'm guessing this isn't a social call or you wouldn't have brought me doing it. Retired? Yeah, I suppose you are to the outside world. Don't worry. I'm not here to give you a new mission. I just want to ask you one simple question. Six years ago, as a member of Fox, you prevented a full-scale nuclear war. You were hailed as a true patriot, given the title of Big Boss by the President. And then you turned right around and quit the unit, threw aside your rank, your good name. Mysterious, don't you think? What did you see out there on your mission? What did you see in Grad? <laughs> Where is the legacy? You mean the Philosopher's legacy? Yes, the secret cache of funds amassed by the Big Three during the Second World War. Where is it? If you're looking for the legacy, try the CIA. They're the ones who took it after the mission six years ago. Simply apply the right type of thing. <laughs> 
to the right degree at just the right location it's always been my policy for persuasion and i found it to be quite effective the cia only recovered half of the legacy from the soviets after operation snake eater and you know where the other half went the cia only got half you can drop the act you defeated the boss and returned alive so you must know where the other half of the legacy is and now you're gonna tell me snake don't have a clue that's too bad because i'd hate to have to continue persuading you like this come on no matter we have plenty of time sooner or later i'm sure it'll all come back to you wait this isn't an official mission is it what happened to major zero tell me the truth cunningham this is an official Fox mission. For now. Snake, that's your name. So that's your name, huh? It's got a nice ring to it. Who are you? I'm just a prisoner. Like you. An American? How did an American like you end up in a prisoner? End up a prisoner in a place like this? It's a long story. But never mind that. Don't you want to get out of here? You know way? Take a good look under your under the bed. See that duct? The cover comes right off. So you can go through it then to the next room. How'd you know? Cause I'm the one that took the cover off. But as luck would have it, they moved me to another cell right after that, so I never got a chance to use it. If you if you make it out, will you do me a fellow prisoner a favor? A favor? Don't worry, you'll get something out of it too. Deal. I'll give it a shot. I skipped past whatever it was. Unfortunately. <sighs> so this one's a lot more like an actual, like the other Metal Gear Solid games. Aromatic palmide. This is the Fox's unit's newest sneaking suit. What's this doing down here? Doing here. Well, I'll be damned. It is Snake. Or should I say, Big Boss. Are you the real deal? You know me. Are you kidding? You're a legend in the Black Ops world. Black Ops. What's a hero like you doing in a place like this? Beats me. I'd like to find out myself. Where are we anyway? Near the equator from the looks of it. If I had to guess, I'd say South America. You got it, big boss. The San Geronimo Peninsula to be exact. 
known to the locals as La Peninsula de los Muertos, the Peninsula of the Dead, is off the coast of central Colombia, more or less directly south of Cuba. Never heard of it. You wouldn't have. It doesn't show up on any conventional maps. It's under Red Army control. The Red Army? In Colombia? In 1964, the Russians provided military aid to FARC, Colombia's biggest rebel faction. And in return, FARC gave them this land. 1964, a year of virtuous mission. Two years prior, the Russians failed in their attempt to build an intermediate-range ballistic missile base in Cuba. Had they succeeded in deploying nuclear-equipped IRBMs inside Cuba, every major American city would have been within range. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Exactly. In the end, the Russians gave up on the idea of deploying missiles in Cuba. Rumor had it that they were looking for a new site, one where they could build a base in secret. And that place was the San Geronimo Peninsula. Yeah, well, not exactly. Apparently, the plans for this missile base were abandoned before it was built. Abandoned? Due to detente. Both the U.S. and the Soviet Union are having trouble financing their enormous military budgets, and they can't afford to keep waging the Cold War like they did in the 60s. Last year, they began conducting the strategic arms limitation talks with the goal of limiting each country's number of ballistic missiles. Meaning no more need to build a new missile base. Right. But as you can see, they'd already completed part of the facility. We were sent in to investigate what was going on. Before we could do that, they ambushed us. They, the Fox unit. My team was wiped out in the blink of an eye. I fear I'm the only survivor. What's the Fox unit doing in a Soviet base? Not a clue. I'd have expected you to know more about it than me. I'm not with Fox anymore. I see. Anyway, that's all I've got. All right. Hold on. I'll get you out of there. It's no use. I've tried over and over. We need a special key to unlock the cell door. Right now, you've got to get out of here. Head five clicks southeast of the detention center and you should reach a communications base. I need you to call in a rescue, if you can. Rescue? You should be able to make contact with the states using the satellite uplink, but the circuit will most likely be monitored. If only you could use some kind of encrypted transmission. Hmm. Someone capable of receiving an encrypted protocol that they can listen in on. Any ideas? I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but there's one thing I could try. Great. I'm counting on you, big boss. Call me Snake. It's been an honor, Snake. The name's Campbell. Roy Campbell. Good luck. That reminds me. You've been out of action for a while, haven't you, Snake? Now, why would it... Now would be a good time for a light refresher. Just help you get... Reacquainted with your weapons and basic actions. I'll help you out. First, equip a weapon. Hold the circle button. This will bring up a list of carried weapons. Use the directional buttons to select. To use a weapon, press the L button to ready the weapon and square to button to fire. Now it's your turn. Forget it. It won't open. You know where you're going, huh? Okay then. Head for the communications base. Use a triangle button to open any doors you encounter. Well, as long as they're not locked, that is. You can view the route to the communications base on the map screen by pressing the start button. The goal is marked with an X. I also seem to remember there being an electronic gate along the way. If you're careful, I think you can sneak past it. You know how to crawl, right? I'm counting on you, Snake, or should I say, Legendary Soldier. Welcome back, Asteroids. Thank you for the hearts. Who's that?
That's a dish antenna for satellite communications. This must be the communications base. The communicator I'm looking for is in that building. Does anybody read me? This is Snake. If no, anybody can hear this, please respond. Snake? Is it you? Is this the real s naked snake? That voice. Paramedic? It's me. It's been a while, huh, Snake? Uh, it's good to hear your voice again. Same here. It'd be even better if it weren't in this godforsaken place. So you're still using this circuit? Major Zero kept it just in case. He said if you were safe, he might try to use it to contact us. To be honest, I never really expected you to call, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, me too. But why are you on the line? Where's the Major? Major Zero was placed under arrest by the military last month. The military? The Pentagon arrested the Major? Why? He's being held under suspicion of treason. Uh, I don't know the details, but a month ago, a CIA unit stole a top-secret weapon guarded by the military and fled the country. They're charging the Major with investigating the re revolt. They're instigating the revolt, probably. Uh, you've been charged too, Snake. Me? The military believes you spearheaded the rebellion. You've got to be kidding me. I'm retired from Fox. I know, Snake. Calm down and listen to me. The CIA unit, the one that stole the prototype weapon and executed the, res the revolt, its name was Fox. Meaning the Fox unit is your next target. What the hell? What are they after? I don't know. Any members of Fox who didn't join the rebellion were killed. The unit is in shambles. I don't believe this. I know how you feel. You know why the military suspects you, don't you, Snake? Whoever started the mess managed to gather Fox members specializing in solo missions and killed all those who well, killed all those who opposed. The only soldier who could have pulled that off is you. 
done in my, my own overblown reputation. Are you the only one there? For now, at least. But Sigurd, uh is helping us out, out over... But Sigurd is helping us out over at ARPA. The Pentagon Advanced Research Projects Agency. Right. His frequency is 148.41. Yo, Snake! Long time no see, oh. I hear you got yourself into a bad mess out there. Mr. Sigurd? Uh, looks like I need your help again. Oh, man, it's cool. We've been through a lot together. Your skills, it shouldn't be too hard to find your way out of there. That's not gonna be enough. You gotta get whoever started this revolt. If you can't take him alive, Dead will do just fine. Huh? We need evidence that proves your innocence. Otherwise, well, we're gonna end up court-martialed for helping you. I see what you're saying, but I can't do it. We're not just talking about rogue Fox members here. They've got the Russian soldiers based on the peninsula on their side. Yeah, that's what we heard too. It looks like they took over the chain of command for a Red Army unit that was secretly stationed inside Colombian territory. Took over the chain of command. So that's it. I thought this seemed a little strange for an official military operation. They got the soldiers that were already stationed here to join them. Hats and minds. The bread and butter of special forces. Anyway, because of that, Neither of us nor the Soviet Union can get involved publicly. If the world found out the Russians built a nuclear base in Colombia or that America had one of the most advanced weapons stolen, there'd be hell to pay. And the rogue unit is using those secrets as leverage to man negotiations for independence with the U.S. and the Soviet Union. They're planning to create a new military nation so in other words they've got the force strength necessary to back up these crazy demands and I can't expect any backup from home and you want me on my own to go in and capture the ringleader of this rebellion well there's no reason you have to do it alone if the rebels manage to get the local militia on this side who's to say you can't do the same thing you're saying I should convince the Russians and the rebels to join my side. Oh, it's not that complicated, man. Just think of it as procuring your allies on site. That's what you're good at, isn't it? Procurement on site? You're kidding, right? This isn't the same as catching fish and snakes, you know. You gotta try, Snake. Otherwise, everybody's gonna be gunning for you. The rebels and the Pentagon. And you're gonna bring us in the major and major zero down with you. Oh, I do have some good news though. As luck would have it, we just sent a scout unit to the peninsula to gather intelligence. It's an SFG unit. The Green Berets? Here? We lost communication with them a little while ago, but there might be might still be some survivors. If you can rescue them, they'll help you out. Yeah, I I think I know who you're talking about. Okay, I'll see what I can find. You okay, Roy? Snake, what are you doing back here? You found a key through. Thought you might be. I found a key. Thought you might be interested in it. Did you call for help? Nobody's coming. What? Seems they think I'm the only one who's. Think, seems they think I'm the one who's leading Fox. The one who wiped out your unit. 
That's insane. And unless I could clear my name, they're not letting me back into the country. And we can forget about someone coming to rescue us. Clear your name. But how? Track down the real roots of Fox's Rebellion. Roy. What? I need your help to pull this off. Me? Yeah, I need your skills as a Green Beret. Oh, Snake. Don't go getting any crazy ideas. What's so crazy about... Look at me. My leg's broken. I can barely walk. And I've had this nasty fever for days. Alright. Why don't you drive instead of walk? What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? On a base this big, there's bound to be a personal transport vehicle. Or two lying around. Well, yeah. And you don't need your legs to fire a gun, right? So are you with me? Roy? Roy. All right. I'm with you. Great. I owe you one. Jeez. Who would have thought the legendary big boss would be this pushy? I'm leaving my spare radio with you. If anything happens, call me. We'll use frequency 1485. Press the select button to open the radio screen. Use the left and right directional buttons to adjust the frequency and press the circle button to make a call. Press the down directional button to make bring up a list of saved frequencies. I'll give you a ring if I start to get lo lonely. Okay, first things first. We need intel. Did you get some kind of briefing before the mission? The first recon target we were given during the pre-mission briefing at Fort Bragg was here. A Soviet line patrol base. This will be our first target for information collection. I can take you there. It's a good idea to, of where it's... I can take you there. I've got a good idea of where it's located. Well, more like I don't know where any of the other facilities are exactly. It'll do. So what's the plan? This place is packed with soldiers. Perfect target for our first recon. Get as much intel as you can. You should be able to extract useful information by listening in on soldiers. Alright, we'll go with your plan. <laughs> Looks like we'll make quite a team, Snake. Okay, let's get going. This place is packed with soldiers. The perfect target for our first recon. Get as much intel as you can. You should be able to extract useful information by listening in on soldiers. Okay, now get out there and suss out the situation. You can learn a lot of things from what the enemy is saying. Just get close to an enemy and listen clear carefully. I know you can do it. When you're approaching an enemy, hold the triangle button down as you move. Help muffle your footprints, footsteps during your approach. Got it. Hmm? Something wrong, Campbell? Mm, no, it's just... Got to see that for a second. You sure you're alright? How's the fever? I'm fine. And there are more important things to worry about. Take care of yourself. We can't afford to have you out on the action now. Yeah, I know. A weapon that can obliterate all major cities? Give me a break. You've been watching too many movies. No, no, this thing ain't a joke. I heard it. I, this ain't a joke. This ain't no joke. I heard that. American officer, the one our boss brought in, say something about it. You mean that's a 
that tight ass peg leg. You should have seen that bastard's face. When the topic of the weapon came up, there must have been something in that document that arrived from HQ the other day. Probably just a bad case of the runs. I know I do. This isn't a joke. Look, I know you're saying aiming that thing at that mother not. That just doesn't seem right for me. Yeah, it's suicidal. But it's just a threat, right? A blow. He's an expert at that sort of manipulation. I hope you're right. Do you ever wonder what kind of weapon we're really storing? Sometimes. But this is not your run of the mill nuclear missile we're protecting. That's for sure. When you change the buttons, that would be CQC to changing your items. I already had this conversation. Looks like you obtained some enemy documents. Good work. 
Okay, okay, back to the truck. Look them over after you get back. Snake, about those documents you found just now. Find anything interesting? You're not going to believe this. Try me. It seems the rebels are actually planning to activate the new weapons they stole. The documents outline detail of a launch plan. The date and time aren't mentioned. But it looks like we don't have much time. No way. They're in the middle of negotiations with Washington and Moscow. Even assuming this launch plan is real. It's got to be a bluff to strengthen their hand. Maybe. Or they've exact exterminated us green berets. Their own com com comrades. Without mercy or remorse. I don't think that's too particular about means to their end. I hope it turns out I'm worrying too much. But if they're serious about this, it could ignite a global crisis. Snake. Until we have a clearer picture of what's going on, I think we should assume the worst. Better to over react now and laugh about it later than ignore this and live to regret it. Can't argue with you on that. Right now, we're the only ones on this peninsula in a position to stop these guys. It's our duty to act before the launch deadline. Yeah, you're right. Even so, the fact is there are only two of us and we can't do this alone. Got any ideas? Snake, when you were listening in on the enemy, did you get the feeling that Maybe not everyone's satisfied with their commander. Yeah, some of them were griping about it. Tell me, how hard do you think it would be to recruit some of the soldiers over to our side? Recruit them? Exactly. We could use any grievances they have against their leader to try and persuade them to join us. Sowing discard among the enemy has been a basic element of physical warfare since the time of Confucius, right? Play our cards right, and we might be able to find out what's really going on. Hmm. What do you think, Snake? Sigit was saying the same thing. Yeah, it might be worth a try. I knew I could count on you. Now, first thing we gotta do is ch choose a suitable candidate. So what exactly does that entail? I'm getting reports that soldiers unhappy with the rebellion can be also be found in other areas. That means you'll have to drag them back to the truck. So we can all have a friendly chat. About them joining our little resistance. Go out and give it a try. Oh, and one more thing. We've learned the name of the enemy's supreme commander. Who is it? His name is Gene. G-E-N-E. -E. Gene? Okay then, let's get this mission started. Pick some place where there'll be enemies easy to convert. So where to, big boss? Your task, is to f your task is to find a soldier there who harbors a grudge against Jean. Pay attention to what they say. Once you found a promising candidate, capture it. Got it? Let's review. We're going to scout for soldiers with grudges against Jean. Listen to what they say, what the enemy is saying. Then once you've found someone right for the picking, grab it and pick them back to the truck. The best time to get them is when they're alone. Once you've got the enemy alone, knock the sucker out. Now there are several ways to knock an enemy out. You can shoot them in the head with your MK-22, or put them in a nice chokehold. Here's how to exercise a chokehold. First, unequip your weapon so that you're barehanded. To unequip a weapon, press circle button once quickly, then quietly sneak up behind the enemy. Push and hold the square button to get him and do a full Nelson. Once you've got his arms pinned, repeatedly tap the square button to choke. The sucker, sooner or later, will lose consciousness. You can also pick the enemy up and carry him around when you're barehanded by holding the square button while positioned above the enemy. Then just drag the unconscious body back to the truck. That's it. Go get him.
Echo. Huh? What was that? Who's that? Must be with the Americans. Are you with the Fox unit too? I'm not with the Americans or with Fox. I'm just a soldier. Just a soldier. Then why we're here to stop Fox unit from going renegade? A member of Fox named Gene betrayed the U.S. government and stole a top secret weapon. He plans to use that weapon and the warheads in this base as bargaining chips to negotiate with your country. But blackmail is more likely. We're here to put a stop to it. Our mission is to free the soldiers of the San Geronimo Peninsula from Gene's control and capture the traitors in the Fox unit. I can understand if you're afraid of Fox, but we need others to help us free the Soviet soldiers on this peninsula. Will you join us? You're here to save us? And you want me to help you defeat Gene? <laughs> What's so funny? You think he's been brainwashed? Brainwashed. Is that what you think is happening here? <laughs> a fine joke. But I'm afraid you two have it all wrong. Wrong? We didn't rebel because of Gene. Our country betrayed us first. We have stood guard over this godforsaken base, unable to reach our friends and loved ones because of the secrecy of our mission. The climate was brutal. The meals were meager. We watched as our comrades succumbed to disease or died fighting the Colombian government. And still we went on carrying out our mission, believing our efforts were all for the good of the motherland. And how did the motherland reward us? By stabbing us in the back. You're talking about the Kremlin's policy shift. If the existence of this base came to light, the political fallout with the United States could fatally undermine Moscow's position in the strategic arms limitation talks that Brezhnev is promoting. That's why we have no use for political rationales. What matters to us is that Mother Russia wiped this base from existence. And instead of allowing us to return home, the army erased all traces of communication and cut off our supplies. 
They sought to isolate the peninsula and make it look like this was all the work of a few out-of-control soldiers. We were abandoned by our own country. That's why you decided to follow Gene? Gene told us he would build us a nation. A nation not of soldiers, but for them. We do not follow Gene out of fear. He will deliver us justice. The only thing we fear is losing that justice. That's why we follow him, not you. You'll never be able to stop him. Justice, huh? The meaning of justice can change from one day to the next. A professional soldier never brings justice into the mission. The only ones who need a reason to fight are the ones who fight for a living. That's what my mentor told me. Politics are fickle. They change with the times. So long as we remain loyal to our countries, soldiers like us need nothing to believe in. She died out of loyalty. Not to justice. Not to her country. To herself. Or the mission. Your mentor. The one who taught you the art of battle. Who was she? They called her the boss. I killed her. The boss? The legendary soldier? Mistake. You must be Big Boss. You're the hero who killed Colonel Volgan at Groznygrad. Hmm. Prove your loyalty as a soldier. That's what the boss told me. I still don't know what she meant. Prove your loyalty. Not to justice. Not to your country. But to yourself. Does Jean truly plan to threaten the motherland? Yes. Snake procured documents from a patrol station that confirm as much. If launched from this base, the weapon Jean stole could deliver a devastating blow to every major city in Russia. I know it's hard to believe. No. I believe you. Not as a member of the Red Army, but as a soldier. I appreciate it. I will follow you. Snake, give me my mission. <laughs> okay, Snake, what's the plan? Hey, Kim, you sure you're alright? I'm fine. I'll get over it. Now about our plan. If we're going to keep collecting intel, we'll need to pick up some more new recruits. Of course, I'd recommend putting together a unit of four soldiers, but if you want to continue on with a smaller unit, that's your call. So we need two more? For now, let's use the buddy system and pair you up with the one we just caught. You can organize your unit using Manage over on the briefing menu. Push the X button to bring up the briefing menu and select Manage. We'll put you and your new, I've, new friend down as Team Alpha, alright? The new recruit is registered as a rookie, so move that guy over to your team, Team Alpha. Don't forget, you've got Bravo, Charlie, and Delta teams you can fill too. Recruit more comrades and fill those ranks. Just remember that there will be plenty of missions that only you can lead, so make sure you move to that team before deployment. If you need more detailed instructions, push the select button and use the help screen. Hmm. Don't tell me you're planning on going alone, Snake. I might be in, have been SOP up until now, but from now on, we're working as a team. To manage your unit, press X to bring up the briefing menu and select Manage. Need more detailed instructions, press the Select button and view the help screens. Got it?
big boss Campbell's sick I'm not sure exactly sure what it is but his symptoms look like some part of tropical malaria I've seen before what the first bout was subsided he's lying down here beside me now are you positive it's malaria I know he took preventative drugs I'm not a medic so I can't say for sure but judging by these symptoms hey don't try to get up snake it's me I'm in bad shape malaria who'd have thought <clears throat> take it easy Campbell what do we do now big boss the preventative drugs don't work this could be just the beginning if he's got some tropical disease other than malaria then there's no telling whether he might start showing the same symptoms good point I got an idea keep an eye on him give me a minute to consult my family doctor about treatment huh family doctor paramedic let's head for the communication space right the communication space got it sorry to be such a pain in the ass snake save your strength on the way we'll keep our eyes out for any recruits we need detailed info on malaria and its treatment methods and we need to use the satellite communications facility so that this doctor uh, paramedic can tell us what to do right sneak into the base and make your way to the communications equipment Take care not to be seen. The symptoms have subsided for now. But there's no telling when I'll have another outbreak. Time is of the essence. I'm counting on you. Good. You made it inside the communication space. They're probably beefed up security, but you've got to stay out of enemy sight until you reach this communicator. I don't know how many more of these outbreaks I can take. You've got to find a cure, and soon. I know you can do it. Big Boss, let's go over how to switch team members. You won't be sneaking in alone anymore. Remember? We'll all be sneaking in together. I thought that going in alone was the whole part of a sneaking mission. Right, I know. Going in all at once wouldn't be very bright. We'll, have, we'll move one at a time and switch off as we go to, along. What do people do when it's not their turn? We'll have them hide nearby. After all, there's plenty of cardboard boxes in the truck. All right, I'm used to hiding in cardboard boxes. When you want to switch off with another team member, press the start button to bring up the map screen. Then select Member Change. Then you'll be prompted on to select a hiding point, a location on the map where you can hide. Choose one as a place to hide. Finally, choose a team member to switch with. When, then you're done. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. From what I've seen, there are a lot of soldiers around here, dressed like me. I should be less cons <laughs> conspicuous than you. I used to be a rescuer. So I'm pretty good at dragging people around, meaning I'm perfect for gathering new recruits. So make good use of me. Okay, it's my turn now. Wow, call on my big boss himself. This is going to make a great story when I get back. Watch yourself out there. If a unit member is dressed like the enemy, they can slip through the enemy's guard as long as they don't act strange. Sometimes you'll see a blue chameleon icon appear at the top left of that screen. That means the enemy believes you are an ally, so they won't sound any alarms. Unfortunately, a legendary soldier such as yourself doesn't qualify for this special type of infiltration technique. Yeah, alright, show me what you can do. I'll keep listening from here and let you know where the enemy is. enemies are. As far as I can tell, the red circle on the map sh screen are the locations of enemy soldiers. They show us where the enemies around us are. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. All right, here I go. Wish me luck.
Really? Going in a trench is too much? Okay, everybody here? We're all set, big boss. Everybody's here. So this family doctor of yours, is she that good? Yeah, yeah. you could say that. Also, hello, comrade. How are you doing today? I'm not saying your last name because, uh, yeah, Twitch. Yeah, you could say that. She saved my life more than once. Snake, you came all the way back to the communications facility? You must really want to talk to me, huh? Yeah, actually I do. One of my men has come down with malaria. Malaria? Can you get some preventative drugs, depending on the... Can you get some preventative drugs? Depending on the drug, it can be used to treat malaria, even after the symptoms appear. Well, good good to have you here, comrade. Hope you enjoyed what you saw on my YouTube. Uh, we've been using the drugs, but they don't seem to be working too well. Do you think it might be some other kind of disease? Hmm. Wait, you said these were malaria symptoms? Yeah, no question about it. I got this. What? Do you know how people get malaria? Yeah, the virus is transmitted by mosquitoes, right? It's not a virus, it's a parasite. A parasite? You mean there's an actual bug inside his body? Exactly. In tropical malaria, the malaria parasites just straight within female and a fleas mosquitoes and are then transferred to human host. Ordinarily, the drugs would prevent those symptoms from appearing, but there are different populations of malaria parasites in certain areas. The populations are drug resistant. You know what that means? The drugs work? Bingo. So the only way to treat it is to find a different drug that's effective against the particular population of malaria parasites. A different kind of drug? Try the local Try the local medical facility. They should have a supply, but you'd better hurry. You might already be infected with the same parasites. It's only a matter of time before you start to develop symptoms. Got it. Big Boss, I need to talk to you. What's up? Paramedic was saying that we need some med medicine to treat malaria? Yeah. If there's a hospital nearby, I'm sure it'd have a st supply in stock. I know where you, you can find one. A hospital? Yes. There's a hospital in my sector, my formal, former squad patrols. I can tell you exactly where it's located. Must be on a lucky day. Lead the way. Yes, sir. Oh, and one more thing. Go on. It's a small hospital with minimal facilities in the mountains, but just the other day, I saw them bringing in a huge shipment of drugs and medical supplies. What for? I don't know, but what I do know is that the shipment was way too big for a hospital of that size. Sounds suspicious. In any case, Snake, we'd better hurry to the hospital. They've got... In any case, in any case Snake, we'd better hurry to the hospital. They've got to have some malaria drugs in there. And I'm guessing it'll be a prime location to recruit some new comrades from metal warriors. Might as well recruit some new allies for the battles ahead, right? Since you're operating as a team, you can all work together to get new recruits. For instance, when you knock an enemy out, you don't have to drag them all the way back to the truck yourself. Why not drag the body over to one of your teammates hiding in a cardboard box? Let them do the rest of the work. Go ahead, give it a try. Now let's go into that hospital. 
Find the malaria drugs and recruit some medical staffers along the way. Let's get some more uh, soldiers first. Used to changing weapons, but they are. Used to changing weapons with the directional keys. Restart mission. Yes. So, yeah, that's the buttons are kind of weird in this one.
HQ. This is HQ. This is Patrol. We've lost sight of the enemy. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Understood. Return to your position. Yes, most of the world is facing a large amount of heat right now.
Partner. Your circuit's gone dead. The enemy is still nearby. All right, so we got Jackal, Carp, Cicada, and Gecko. And they'll be in the uh, prison until we can talk them into joining us. That's right now. Save. And, uh, and stream. Uh, thank you for, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great night. Please give love and support to who I, uh, well, let me go ahead and see who streams. So I'll go ahead and set off for, for a good raid. Um, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys all for tomorrow for Treasure Tuesday. All right, Pepper Fox is streaming, so I'm going to go ahead and raid off to them. Please give them love and support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for that Treasure Tuesday. Let's save one more time.
See you tomorrow. Waka, 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 waka. Have a great night. Waka, 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 waka.